girls, I hope you are excited for outdoor learning today. We're going to start off with a very quick look around. It is snowing today. That's very exciting. I hope it sticks around. You can see it's starting to lie on the ground behind me. I thought we would start today's lesson by looking at a poem called what do you do on a nature walk by Kate Williams? And I know that lots of you have been going on nature walks recently, so I thought you would really enjoy this piece. What do you do on a nature walk? We have an adventure, that's what. Crunching through the undergrowth, dodging thorns and stings, leaping logs and bridging bogs, looking out for things. Birds and frogs and shy hedgehogs and flies with fairy wings. And skinny slugs and tiny bugs. Whatever nature brings. You are going to get wrapped up very warm. Gloves, hats, scarves, wellies, everything that you can find to wrap up nice and warm. And today you are going to be listening to the sounds of nature. I want you to go for your walk. Find somewhere safe that you can stand for a moment and just listen to the sounds around you. It's so beautiful and I want you to tell me about all the things you can hear. I can hear wind rustling through the branches of the trees. I can hear birds calling up there in the trees. If I listen extra carefully today, I might hear a little crunching of snow underfoot. So I want you to think about what you can hear and then I want you to get creative and not just ordinarily creative. I want you to get musically creative and I want you to gather all the interesting objects that you can see that might make some interesting sounds, objects from nature. So I've done exactly that. The first thing I did, I gathered lots of interesting rattly objects like seeds and leaves and twigs and I put them into a lunchbox to make a handy little shaker. do something like that. Make your nature's very own shaker. Another thing that I gathered together were some rustly leaves. Now today the leaves are extra strong because they've frozen a little bit. So they make a nice crunchy sound when you rub them together. Another beautiful instrument. And finally I gathered up some rather amazing branches and twigs that I can play together, like drumsticks. Maybe I can even play them on the park bench. <laughs> so, this is just an example of what I gathered on my walk around. And I know you guys, with your imaginations, will find the most interesting objects to make the most interesting musical instruments. And I'm very excited for what you will find. So, I'm going to set you off on that exciting task I want you to get musical, find the sounds of nature all around you and see what musical instrument you can build and I want you to then go to Seesaw where you will find a little activity for you to carry out where you can tell me about all the sounds that you heard on your walk today and you can upload a recording of you playing your very own musical instrument. I for one cannot wait to see it. Have lots of fun in the snow. See you soon.